meteorologist Bruce Sussman. All right, lots to talk about tonight. I don't know if it's exciting as the drones, but in the weather world, it kind of is. Here's our 24 hour forecast. We start with first 39 degrees at 7 o'clock. Still some rain showers kicking around. Maybe, maybe a few flurries at 9 o'clock if we still have any showers left, but most of us will be dry. And then we should be dry at 11 and down to 35 degrees. Tomorrow morning, we're below freezing out the door. We are starting in the 30s. We're going to have some patchy freezing fog and some areas of frost. And you Usually how it goes on the first morning of freezing temperatures, you know, most of the main roads are fine, but some of the side roads are not. So you're just going to have to test that out in the morning. Sunny and clear at lunchtime, turning breezy in the afternoon and our highs only in the 30s tomorrow. Now tonight, lots of snow showers still going over the coast range, still going snow over the Cascades, including at government camp. Meanwhile, here in the valley, not much action. Most of the I-5 corridor is dry, save for a few light rain showers. Uh, right now crossing the metro area, but there's not a lot more left in the way of showers tonight. 41 degrees, a west wind at 14, and it's breezy now gusting to 26. And that's actually kind of cool air, but not really cold air like you would want if you wanted snow all over the place. Down to 39 in Tualatin and Hillsboro right now. Outlying areas cool off first. This area right here is the source of our cold air. It's going to be dropping our direction. In fact, it is right now. So where is it? I mean, yes, it's chilly outside now, but we're really going to drop the hammer with the cold air around here and most of it is still up in British Columbia and it's going to be sweeping down our direction overnight and so by tomorrow you'll notice it's cold with highs only in the 30s but then we get reinforcing shots and I mean it really gets cold as the week goes on and into next weekend so at the very least we're looking at our coldest days of 2013 and I actually think it could end up being our coldest uh, day high time highs this week of three or four years. So it's been a while. Let's talk about tomorrow specifically. Cold start beautiful along the coast 20s. So areas of frost there will be closer to the freezing mark in the valley because we are going to have areas of patchy clouds and fog that form in the morning. And that'll be freezing fog that can leave a glaze on the road. So watch for that. Highs will be in the upper 30s with sunshine dominating the day. Meanwhile, east of the Cascades, clearing skies and yes, turning colder tomorrow, but a whole lot colder as we get into Wednesday. Those temperatures will really be dropping. Uh, some patchy fog possible through the gorge as well as morning frost, a little bit of east wind, but not too bad tomorrow and 20s with clearing skies on Mount Hood. 30 for a morning low in Portland. We end up at 39 degrees. We have patchy morning fog and some frosty areas. Look at our morning lows, you know, upper 20s, low 30s. So the lows, you know, we've certainly been colder, but this is the first time we've seen highs in the 30s since last January. So it has been a while. Look at the specifics now. Wednesday 35 for a high, Thursday 34 and a chance Thursday evening into Friday morning that we could see some snowflakes around here. That's one of the systems I'm watching. It's offshore, but it's trying to get to us. And then Sunday into Monday, we'll also have to watch that. Look at those highs over the weekend right around freezing. And Jeff, I want to say thanks to the uh, second graders at Mrs. Jackson's class out at Damascus Christian. They asked all these great weather questions when I was there talking today. The most popular one was, will it snow this year? And when I said it might even snow this week, the kids went crazy. Wow. <laughs> so but thank you. Thanks our, for the great question. Our high temperatures only at about the freezing mark for the next Isn't week. Isn't that amazing? I yeah. mean, mid to low 30s for a bunch of the next week. All right. Thank you.